Who are you? What do you want? Hello, sir. I'm D.I. Scanlon. This is D.S. Stone. I'd like to see some identification, please. This is my mother's house. There's nothing here. Liar. Yes, sir. Sir. Well done. Hold a briefing for the murder of a drug addict. You can't pay them to turn up. Mention the word serial killer. And suddenly you need extra chairs. Multiple murderer. You've done plenty of these before? No, never. Follow my lead. Remember, it's a good news day. And Alan Harvey would undoubtedly have killed more than three women if it wasn't for some exemplary police work, particularly from D.S. Stone here, who will talk you through the arrest. Carol Taft should be alive. <laughs> Can you expand on that, sir? What G.S. Stone means is, despite this success, it's no time for a celebration. What I mean is, if we had treated each woman as part of a pattern, rather than separate missing persons cases, we would have found Alan Harvey sooner, and Carol Taft would still be alive. Um, we failed. I failed. So, you believe Homicide Command should be working more closely with missing persons? Yes. Yes, most people that go missing are vulnerable. And we need to be looking at them the way Alan Harvey did, as potential victims. Otherwise, we'll, we'll be too late again. You start on Monday. Sir? The strategic outcome of this case is your permanent secondment to missing persons looking for serial killers. You're telling me I'm leaving? I'm telling you, you're finished, D.S. Stone.
Morning, Sal. Oh, can you ask Eric to resend that study on the elderly? I thought it was about pensions and deleted it. Sure, will do. Hi, I'm Ruth Hattersley, one of the senior analysts here. I believe we're going to be working together. That's me over there. You are D.S. Stone. Is it all right if I call you Sean? You're booked in for an induction at 10. I'll take you to meet everybody first. We're really excited about you being here. Um, it's long overdue. Obviously, we advise the police all the time, but we never get to do any field work. Do you have a husband? No. No, I, I, I don't. I do have a son who is ridiculously excited about the fact that I'm going to be working with someone who is as fascinated by serial killers as he is. Multiple murderer, and I'm not fascinated. But you are looking into those missing persons most at risk of becoming victims of serial killers. Multiple murderer. I'm so sorry, what's the difference? Serial killers live in Hollywood. Multiple murderer helps keep them where they belong. Which is where? Right next door. They're not fascinating. They're not evil geniuses. Most are merely opportunist. So, uh, where do we start? Uh, well, I've uh, looked at every low and medium risk missing person reported in the region over the past three months. I focus on the five groups most often targeted by UK multiple murderers. Which are? Well, ask your son. Sounds like he would know. We're left with those. We need to focus on her, Taylor Davis, aged 16. Why isn't she high priority? Because she's run away three times in the last year. But she always returns between hours 24 and 30. We're now in hour 60. No sightings, no phone, no social media activity. How long have you been here? We're creatures of habit. That's what creates patterns. Taylor broke hers. Do you have a car? I'm going to see Taylor's investigating officer. Why didn't we travel together? I think while I drive. What's a medium risk runway got to do with me? Because she's actually high risk. Well, not according to this, she's Well, that's why I'm here. You have to prioritise Taylor is Davis that... immediately. Right, is that before or after I look for whoever slashed the boy's throat last night for his mobile phone? Hmm? Or for the man sexually assaulting women in the toilets of the local a and &E? Is he dead? Who? The boy. No. Before what is... then. Where's he going? Where are you going? To see Taylor's mother. No, you are not. You are not. If anyone's going to speak to her, it's going to be me. Oh, not now, ways. Raymond. Sorry about this, having to drive me. There's no point in us taking three cars. Do you know him, dear Stone? A reputation only. He seems to have decided not to like me. How long have you two been working together? hours. <laughs> Sorry. I know, it should take slightly longer. <laughs> it's not you. You think? I know. Dear Stone marches to the beat of his own drum. I'm not entirely sure if it's medical, but it's definitely not personal. I thought this was an opportunity. Oh, this is an opportunity. It's an opportunity for Homicide Command to dump what they see as a liability onto missing persons. No offense. You know, finding the missing, telling their families that they're safe. That's why I do this job. I thought this was going to be a chance to find the ones who aren't safe. Look on the bright side. What's that? You've got to ride with me.
Okay. I'll lead, okay? Hi, Miss Davies. I'm D.I. Pryor. I'm afraid there's no news about Taylor. I'm Ruth from Missing Persons. He's not keeping anything from you. Come in. Does Taylor have a college bag? This is it. She took it with her and some clothes and stuff the other time she went, but PC Stanley's already been through it. He said detectives only come if it's suspicious. Yeah, I just need to make sure nothing was missed. That's all. So Taylor was last seen by you, Mr. Leg, wearing the jeans, trainers and the red jacket? Yeah. Tay went to college as usual, did all her classes, but she never came back. 13 to 17 year olds go missing more than anyone else. Most don't go far and come back quickly. But she hasn't. And she never missed college the other times. Do we know where Taylor went on those other occasions? The, it's not always been easy between me and Taylor. When she came back, I thought we thought it was best left. I did. You phoned all her friends? Those we know of. We gave PC Stanley a list. Is there a boyfriend? What's her phone? She hasn't got one. She lost it sometime last week. I can't remember when exactly. I know she was unhappy about it. She lived on that thing. Has she got bad breath? What the hell was that, dear Stone? What? Have you any idea how they're feeling? No. So you'll prioritise Taylor? On what grounds? Well, that she's at least as likely to have been abducted as she is to have run away. Jump in. going to phone you again to find out where you are. You have to tell me what you're doing. Well, I'm waiting for someone from Taylor's class to take me to her tutor room. Uh, I sort of meant before you actually do it. So is this where we're interviewing them? Who? Taylor's friends. That's why we're... Why are we here, Sean? Because mobile phones continue to emit a signal even after they've been switched off or taken to pieces. I ran a trace. Taylor's phone is somewhere in this building. You police? Yes, who are you? Sophie. Sophie Scarrow. Ruth Hattersley. Hey. Uh, so you know Taylor Davis? Uh, yeah, we have a few classes together, that's about it. Did she ever talk to you about any problems she might be having? We don't really talk about anything. You do know she's missing? Yeah. Any idea where she might go? Oh, I said we don't really talk. Who oh, are her friends? To be honest, she don't really have any. You got visitors, sir. You hear about Taylor? Any news? Do these students have their own desks or lockers, places they can store things? No. Why? We need to find Taylor's phone. I've got it. Have you? Uh, she's been warned not to use it during lessons over and over again, but she kept on doing it. So I took it from her. When? Last Thursday. I told her on Friday she could have it back after the weekend, but obviously with everything that's been going on... Been in the drawer the whole time? I couldn't have known what she was planning, could I? You haven't tampered with it? Of course not. It's locked. We need her code. You tried her birthday? I alternate between my son's birthday and the day I got my decree Nisi. What codes do you use? Why? The whole point of a code is meant to be secret. Right. Hmm, if I told you I'd have to change it, what would be the point of that? Yep, yep. OK, forget it. What? Van Gogh. Date of birth? No. Nope. Death. Uh, this is Angela Bale. She's director of the Missing Persons Bureau. You're new boss. So that's D.S. Stone, who didn't come to meet me this morning. Uh, I think so. 
He hasn't actually introduced himself to me yet or shared anything other than the fact that he prefers to drive alone. I've yet to meet the person that you can't connect with. Well, you would have done if he hadn't ignored you. <laughs> Taylor spent a lot of time on one website. IMC. It's my choice. It's a suicide website used to talk about how to do it. Not very good advice. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a website. They'd all be dead. Join as a 16-year-old girl. It's not a suicide website at all. Maybe it's actually a place for isolated kids to contact each other and that actually prevents them from killing themselves. Hello, uh, can I help you? Who are you? Kay. Amos, Mr. Pryor sent me. He said you're looking into suspicious missing persons. Yes, we are. But he knows we're busy at the moment. Right, if you could just leave your contact details yeah, then. Yeah, that's Chloe. That's my daughter. Why have you crossed her out? Oh, that doesn't mean anything. Yes, it does. Every week for months I've been going to that station and every week they mug me off. That's because she's 20 and therefore an adult with a history of drug abuse and absconding. That is Chloe, isn't it? And that's your excuse for doing nothing? No, that's the reason the police haven't prioritised her. Plus the fact you told them she said she wasn't coming back. Yeah, but, but she didn't mean it. Why did she say it then? Well, because people do when they row. She always says it. Oh, maybe this time is different. Well, that's what I'm saying. Someone's took her. I know they did. I've got no evidence, but I know. I know something's wrong. OK, the reality is that most of the people on that wall, they'll turn up alive and well. Chloe always phones me, even if it's only to shout at me. Someone's took her, and even if she... I just want her back with me. I can't get on, not, not until I know everything. I... It's not even an up-to-date picture. I'm so sorry if you oh, don't bother. It is a suicide site. I need more time to decipher her usernames, but, um... At least one of the kids on here has killed himself recently. He was found six weeks ago. Disused print works. Kieran Gandley, age 17. He joined IMC three months before Taylor. Did you or did you not meet a serial killer? Multiple murderer. Well, technically, multiple murderer is an umbrella term encompassing spree killers, serial killers, and mass murderers. So is that a yes? Let her get in the door, Brian. Everything all right? Yeah. Mum, don't pester. But look, I can help. Come on, ask me anything. OK? How did your maths test go? Mm -hmm. You did do the maths test? Yes, I did the maths test. All right. I was told to ask you, 
What are the five groups most often targeted by UK serial killers? Prostitutes, gay men, the elderly, kids and runaways. That's in no particular order. Did you want them in any particular order? Serial killers are not fascinating, Brian. They're not evil geniuses. Most are merely opportunist. Go on, do your homework. More importantly, what's D.S. Stone like? Oh, probably as close as I'll ever get to an actual psycho. Who is? No one! It's ironic. Apparently, he's known for making connections, but... Handsome? Oh, Mum, I am so not interested. I wasn't asking for you. Who married? Well, if anyone did accidentally marry him, it wouldn't have lasted long. Well, you're the expert, sweetheart. You phoned the office? Yes. So you hear about that lad? The boy they say he killed himself. Kieran Ganley. That's right. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, it was me who found him. Come on, I'll show you. Yeah, I told him. I told the boss. It's too easy to get in. Now I'm gonna hear all the while the amount of young kids I've chased off. I mean, I said, you need to sort it before something bad happens. Yeah, I don't know why you're back, but I can show the emails that I've sent. They're all dated. Think they've offered me any emotional support? on the floor with a rope around his neck. He said the boy they say killed himself. You doubt it was suicide? <sighs> Who cares what I think? I mean, kids got in all the while. How? Just climbed the fence. That razor wire wasn't up then. Who knows what they were doing up here? I warned the boss. I can prove I did. Kieran will have known from the website that hanging is the more painful way to die, but in the end, suicidal and homicidal ligature strangulation look notoriously alike. You didn't mean that, did you? No. <laughs> what is she like, your new colleague? Forties, five foot eight, she has a Rolodex. Yeah, but what was she like, Sean? Like? Did you ask loads of questions, as, as we said? Straight away. Have you got a husband? That was right, wasn't it? Do you remember? I told you to be careful. She maybe feel awkward. She might think you're interested. Romantically. Why? Never mind. Anything else? Uh, she has a son. Very good name. She didn't say. Did you ask? No. Your dinner is in the fridge, and I didn't have time to iron today, so I'll bring it on Thursday, OK? Wallet? Bye. Bye.
Who's <gasps> Layla? If you're actually practicing creeping up on people, I'm going to start worrying. What are you doing? Nothing. And why are you calling yourself Emma? Listen, when you go online and read about murder and stuff, you don't ever look at dark stuff, do you? The fine dark, Mum. Some people go on the web because it seems like everything is there. All the answers are at your fingertips. Mum, are you going to rant on about how you and Dad had to split up because it was the only option again? No. Why bring him up? Why are you on a suicide forum? You've seen IMC before. Look, I look at all types of stuff on the internet. What do you want me to say? That you are not and never will be one of those kids whose mothers find out too late how lost you were. Mum, I promise you will always know how lost I am. Donna. Hi. I thought working might help. I was wondering, was there anything to suggest that Taylor might have been feeling low recently? Depressed. She had her moods. She's a teenager, but nothing special. Why? But there have been problems in the past with Graham, yes? It took Tay a bit of time to accept things when we got together. We've been on our own for so long after her dad died, but things are settling down. We're all getting along. I thought we were. Graham loves her to bits, you know. What is it that you don't want to tell me? There are some kids, teenagers, who are spending time on suicide webs. Suicide? doesn't necessarily mean that Taylor has hurt herself. There's no way Taylor would ever... No way. A girl in her class at college told us that Taylor has no friends. Who said that? Uh, Sophie Scarrow. Sophie? Yeah. She's been Taylor's best friend since primary school. They're like sisters. You sure about that? Absolutely. I went to see Donna to tell her about the suicide website. Forget suicide. Taylor showed no sign of self-harm or any other suicidal behaviour. Her GP says the same. Sophie Scarrow lied. Taylor is her best friend. And why should we forget suicide? I went to the print works where Kieran Gandley was found. The only way in was over a ten-foot fence and he was suffering from MS. I had to do some research. Why didn't you tell me any of this? Why? Do you know about MS? No! Well, I don't think there was any way that boy could have got inside without someone pulling him over that fence. Why didn't you share with me what you're doing? What for? Because we work together. That's what people who work together do, Sean. They communicate. Let's talk about it later. Sean! This isn't later, this is still now. At least tell me where we're going so I don't have to keep following you. To see Sophie, you said she lied? To the college. I'm here to help you. Oh, yes. Um, the other day, when I asked you about your husband, I don't find you attractive. People are like, yeah, yeah. everyone gets random or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why did you tell us you and Taylor aren't friends? Because we're not. Well, not anymore, anyway. But you were friends, weren't you? So you lied. Yeah, we haven't spoken in, like, ages. Hello, Sophie. We wanted to ask you if you knew anything about a suicide website. 
<laughs> you don't think Taylor's committed suicide, do you? I mean, she's, she's just gone off, hasn't she? Why did you two stop talking? Why? There was a boy. So why didn't you tell us that before? Who is he? No one. Hangs round out front. A bit older. Selling cannabis to teenage girls, including Taylor. And she used mouthwash to disguise the smell, didn't she? What's his name? Sophie, we think Taylor might be in very real danger. What's his name? Aaron Scobie. Who? Aaron Scobie! Carl, we've got a name. It's an older boy Taylor had a crush on. He's called Aaron Scobie. Oh, yeah, I know him. I know where he'll be. Thanks, Ruth. Mates of Aaron Scobies, aren't you? Gotcha. I'm not interested. Whatever he said, he's lying. What did he say? I think we've known each other long enough to know that I asked the questions. Where is Aaron Scobie? With you! What? He got picked up outside his flat half an hour ago. By who? He said he was a detective, but he was well weird. Who was he then? Taylor Davis. I know of her. I mean, I've seen her at the college. What's that? What? Round your neck. What do you think it is? Show me. Why have you got Taylor Davis's ring? I found it. No, you didn't. Where did you get it from? All right, she was messing about a bit when we were talking and she left it behind. So you do know her? And I forgot to give it back. Stop lying! Taylor has been missing now for four days. Statistically, every hour that passes makes it less likely she will ever return. Taylor's missing? Yes, what do you know about that? I hardly knew her. We know Taylor was attracted to you. Who told you that? Where is she, Aaron? I don't know. I mean, why would I? I mean, you should be speaking to her mates, people she talks to. Like who? I don't know. She's got no friends, hasn't she? Names. Leanne, isn't it? She's always on about. Well, who's she? A word, do you understand? In what world do you think it's okay to arrest and interview a prisoner with a case with my name on it and not tell me? He's not under arrest. Sure. There wasn't a Leanne in that list of friends Taylor's mother supplied. Hey, there. I'm a D.I.D. Stone. Do not ignore me. I'm trying to stop you ignoring a missing teenager before we find her body. We need evidence. Do you have any evidence against him? He has Taylor Davis's ring. Does he have an explanation? Yes, but I don't believe him. Get out of my sight. And why are you suddenly wearing lipstick? Yeah. Chief Superintendent, one second. Chief Superintendent Drayton, please. Do I prior? Okay, well, tell him to call me when he gets in. Thank you. Ruth, I'm, I'm really sorry about that. You know, I'm happy to work with you, more than happy, in fact, but I, I, I can't have that, okay? Yeah. 
Davis, can you escort Miss Hattersley out, please? John! If this is going to work, you have to show you're willing to collaborate with a bureau, i.e. me, and with the police, i.e. Carl. Who's Carl? D.I. Pryor. Oh, yeah, I don't think he likes me. The only way we're going to find Taylor Davis is by making real connections, Sean. By building relationships. We'll find it by going back to the suicide website and looking for Taylor's friend, Leanne. Has it never occurred to you that sometimes other people might have something valuable to offer? No. Then I don't think I can help you after all. I don't need your help. By the way, multiple murderer is actually an umbrella term encompassing mass murderers, spree killers and serial killers. sending emails as me not as you as emma you left yourself logged in and i make a much better teenage girl than you you, you talked about taylor yeah but nothing you hadn't said already only that she showed you the site and that you missed her and this is an ongoing police investigation brian <sighs> I i'm sorry It's Leanne again. Tried both your phones. You never answer. The profile I created on the suicide website has been getting messages from a friend of Taylor's. We're going to meet now at Everfields. It's Leanne. Data isn't everything, Sean. This is Ruth. Leave a message. I found another one. Lucas Story, aged 16, released from a Young Offenders Institute four months ago and found dead two months later in a derelict office block, having strangled himself. Lucas, Kieran Ganley and Taylor Davis have one friend in common who had contact with all of them the day before they went missing. Leanne. It's a pattern. Where are you? You have one new message. I've tried both your phones. You never answer. The profile I created on the suicide website has been getting messages from a friend of Taylor's. We're going to meet now at Everfields. It's Leanne. This is Ruth. Leave a message. Hello?
Lian 